Dear brothers and sisters, this is Christopher. In this video, I want to share with you a very important dream that the Lord gave me this morning on the 13th of November 2018. This dream confirmed a number of things to me and set clear a number of things. And it's a very significant warning to the body of Christ, especially to those who live in Australia, but also for our body that lives all around the world. Okay, so in this dream, I was in my home and I walked out the front and I saw all these cars coming into my driveway and parking on the nature strip. And these people came out and they were young, like teenagers, but they knew me somehow. And they were probably between the ages of about uh, 13 and 20, 25. So like young people, but not very young. So um, two of them got out of the car and something had changed in the world. And um, one of them came out and I asked him, he was with a girl. I asked him what he was doing and what was going on. And I saw the girl was on her phone, mobile phone, and she was talking to someone. And uh, the boy, the young, the young boy, he was probably maybe like 16 or something or 16 to 20. He said, uh, Australia is being invaded from the north. That's what he told me. And he went inside. And as we went inside, the scene um, was inside my house. And there was a lot of other young children coming in. And... They were coming in and all went into like the lounge room area and they were all seated down, like sitting down and standing up and all, there was probably like 40, 40 kids in there, um, 40 young adults and um, teenagers and young adults and they were all like talking and and um, basically like arguing with each other, what's going on, what's happening, like something had gone, something had dramatically changed, and um, they didn't know what was going on, so the TV was on behind me, and the TV was not saying anything about the invasion, and I stood in front of the TV to block it, because everyone was watching it, and it kept on attracting their attention, and I couldn't get their attention otherwise. So I stood in front of the TV and I said, telling everyone that basically to settle down and I need to tell you what's going on. And then I told them that Australia is being invaded from the north and they were all shocked and scared. And um, one of them said, when is Jesus coming? So I believe these were like Christian youth. And I said, this is what I said, Jesus will come back for those who truly love him and have repented of their sins at the appointed time. Those who are not ready will be protected, but those who are lukewarm and have not repented of their sins will be cast into great tribulation. This is in the scripture and is biblical. And then I said, if any of you has not repented, take the time and do this now for your fornications, your drunkenness and your idolatries. And every single one of them in the room, um, pretty much every single one of them looked convicted, uh, seriously convicted uh, of their sins. And there's this one girl there, and she seemed very proud and stubborn, and she did not want to repent of her sins. And she said, um, Jesus would come for us all because of something she read from a distinguished Christian teacher about unmerited grace. And I told her that that is not true. Um, then, um, so people were still able to talk on their phones. The TV was still working, but the government was not telling anyone that Australia was being invaded. They were keeping it secret. So there's that sh that's kind of saying that they're in collusion with the enemy in terms of that. I don't know of another explanation regarding that. So... Um, so I said, we don't know by who, 
is invading Australia. In previous dreams, I know by who. It's China and another Asian nation, which I do not know yet. Um, and that's been confirmed to me many times about China invading our country. And they own the port in Darwin, the north of Australia. The government gave it to them. Uh, a 99-year lease or whatever they did. So, anyway, then... Um, Right after that, after I talked about repentance and talked about the rapture, um, they all said to themselves, they all said like, they were all like considering what to do. And they all said in unison, don't go with Russia. Don't trust Russia. It was really strange. Like, they all said that. Um, they said that. And then there was a woman who came and she was in the room. And this was a woman who worked and she had made and developed a sustainable eco village. She said it, she ran one and it was in Australia. Um, it was somewhere like not that far away, um, within traveling distance. And it was, I think a hundred acre property and a sustainable eco village that she had developed. And as she was like trying to make her pitch to the young, the young kids, she was giving like an impassioned personal speech about how she developed this eco community and how she'd had like young people over there to uh, live and to like learn how to live off the land and to live simply and things like that. And as she did that, her voice got taken away and I knew Satan had done that. And then, um, and then I started speaking for her by the Holy Spirit. So this woman was a Christian and I started speaking the words that she was trying to say. She was making all the gestures, but I was filling in her words to everyone. And basically that like um, when she had the children there, it was like a hard, it was like difficult, but very rewarding and fulfilling and I was saying exactly the words that she wanted to say and she concluded by saying like basically saying to everyone that we need to go and leave the suburbs and the city and go and live in this eco village um, and pretty much wait for the return of Jesus Christ. And um, as soon as she finished and I was speaking for her, she was like so happy that I had was able to speak for her because of she couldn't speak. Um, the enemy had bound her tongue, but I guess the Lord allowed it so that I could speak for her showing like, um, showing a miracle of the Holy Spirit. So then she was so happy and, and thanked me and all the kids like were jumping up and down, like cheering and joyful. And one of them was like doing karate kicks and stuff because they were all happy about going to live at this eco village and going to wait for the return of Jesus Christ. And um, then there was a man who spoke in like a Russian accent, kind of like FPS Russia from YouTube. And um, so I believe that that was in my dream because the Lord's not saying like, you know, all Russian people are bad or anything, but I think he's giving a warning regarding like not trusting the Russian government or some type of, you know, like Russian governmental assistance or whatever story is going on there. So this was like a man who spoke in a Russian accent, but he was friends with the woman and um, the, the children knew this woman, perhaps because she went to their school or something. They seemed like school kids, like high schoolers or something. And then... Um, he was saying they all got handed like small little like prep prep bags like and um i was looking through one because i had one as well and i was drawn to the medical items and i began to describe some of the things in the bag and what the purpose is for them to the children to the young kids so there was like some saline squirt bottles and i said that these are saline squirt bottles i said um you can drink them, but uh, make sure you keep some for medical purposes for cleaning out wounds because you can squeeze these little bottles and it will shoot out like um, sterile water with like salt. So that can clean out wounds. So then there was a bottle of about 100 mils of like antiseptic. Each 
each person had one of these and there was a big bandage and um, there was a waterproof dry bag. Those were the things that I noticed. So there was medical items that were um, given prominence to me in this dream that were shown to me. And um, then the, the, the man who spoke in the Russian accent said, um, call your kit and write on the front of it, America, America Assembly Now Pastor. That's what he said. America Assembly Now Pastor. So, um, yeah, so that's interesting. And um, he wrote that on there. Um, he was telling everyone to write it on there. And yeah, we were all going to leave my house. And um, I saw like I had bug out bags ready to go. I had some that were empty, which made me think of like having them ready and filled up and ready to leave. And, um, yeah, we were all going to leave and we were going to go to this woman's sustainable eco village and we were going to live there and we were going to await the return of Jesus Christ. That's what we were going to do. And we're excited about it. And we knew that we needed to do that. And we were led by the spirit of the Lord to go and do that. And, um, these were like school kids and I don't know where their parents were. I don't know what was going on with their parents, but they wanted to come. And their parents weren't with them. They were just kids. And we were, take, we were going to go there with them. So that's what, that's what I saw. And um, that was the dream. So very interesting dream. So a few things I want to discuss in this dream. I had a previous dream where I, where I saw um, myself and my close friend uh, being raptured and transformed into the bride of the Lord and taken into heaven as uh, demons were invading the earth. And um, that was the rapture of the bride. So I believe that will come, but it won't come before anything happens. There's going to be some things that happen, maybe like potentially even very bad things happening before the Lord's return. So, um, but he will make a way to protect those who love him. And one of those ways is to go out of the city and out of the suburbs and live in the wilderness in these places. And the Lord used this Christian woman who had extensive experience in living off the land and making an eco village. And she owned the property a hundred acres and she must have had supplies and the Russian man who was working with her had bought all of these supplies to these children. So, um, these kids. So this was preparation. This was preparing in advance by, uh, the leading of the Lord. And it was going to be used to help these kids. It was going to be used to help these children. So what I wrote when I came out of that dream, I was like, prepare, uh, get land, get supplies, repent. That was especially important. Um, I made the call of repentance and that's very important. If you want to be protected by the Lord, you need to not be in uh, disobedience. You need to not be in willful sin. So repentance is really important and seek the Lord for strength to help you overcome sin in your life. That is what you do. That is the process of how you do it. And that's the only way you can do it. Okay. Um, so that's those two things I wanted to mention. Then, um, this invasion from the North, I believe that it will be China and another Asian nation from this dream. It seemed to suggest that the media was not reporting that the invasion was occurring and the invasion was underway and they were not reporting it. But, um, that boy, the young man, he told me that and I knew it was the truth and I knew that was happening. So those who were led with the truth needed to make the decision to leave where they were and go into the wilderness. Now, I believe that these cryptocurrencies and things like that are a mechanism for the Lord to give the finances for his children to prepare places like this for um, Christians, refuges in the wilderness. This is a 100% confirmation dream of what I already 
felt the Lord was leading me to, especially with cryptocurrencies and the things that he has taught me and led me in my life um, in terms of like being interested in survival topics and living off the land, all of these things. Um, it has been a preparation of the Lord. So those skills are very useful and they're very important. But important also is um, Christian leadership and um, having a Christian community. You, I believe most of these kids were Christian or believed in God and um, that the community was ran by a Christian woman. So it wasn't just get everyone everyone that you know into a place and um, see if it works. It was like people who fear the Lord or who believe in God were being protected in this dream. That's what it showed me. I'm not saying you shouldn't help people or the people that you know. Um, please go by the spirit of the Lord as he leads you. There's no um, hard and fast rules about these things. You need to be following his guidance and you need to be seeking him daily to understand how he is guiding you personally so very interesting this is a very interesting dream regarding being physically prepared for these coming times for invasion and war for australia and i believe because the um, preparation kits that were given to the children was called america assembly now pastor assembly now um, and pastor and america like i don't know the true meaning of that but I believe that is obviously saying um, this dream applies to America as well and um, that we Christians, uh, we may need to go into the wilderness and await the return of Jesus Christ. So I believe the Lord will facilitate that and he will make that happen and he will guide you if you love him. And as I said in the dream regarding the rapture, that is what I truly believe. The bride are those who love the Lord and have repented of their sins. Those who are not ready, but still love the Lord will be protected. Those who are lukewarm and have not repented will be cast into great tribulation. I believe that is the truth and that is what the Lord has shown me. So, uh, so very interesting. I wanted to share that with you. So, I will link down below my survival document. It is a PDF survival book, um, including an item list of useful items for living off the grid or living off the land. And it also has survival discussion and techniques, including edible weeds. So you can have a look at that. It's something I made a while ago and um, it's free. Just download it. You can print it out and um, put it in some plastic pockets if you want. Um, there are other survival guides you can buy, which are also uh, good as well. So I recommend that you have like a uh, leave on foot backpack. Basically it's like a backpack with like the minimal stuff required for like sleeping in the outdoors, which is like a tent or a tarp with like a sleeping bag, a ground mat, um, some rope, some fire lighting, something to boil water in, something to carry water in, compass, those kind of things. Like basic camping items are very useful to have. And um, a good pair of outdoor clothing, a good pair of outdoor boots, um, those kind of things. Like imagining if you had to, if you went on like a, a month long um, camping trip or something, like what would you bring? Um, and if you had to go live in the wilderness, what would be useful and what would you bring? So um, consider that. And this is something that I always knew the Lord was leading me to share regarding these things. And this is 100% confirmation um, of Christian refuges to take care of Christians. It was, the youth were specifically shown in this dream. It looked like they went to like a Christian school or something. And um, yeah, they somehow their parents were just not doing what they should have or like weren't aware of, of it. The kids were like ready to go though. Um, I don't know the situation with that. So be ready. Um, from this dream and from some of the stuff I've seen, it looks like we're going to be seeing some stuff before the Lord returns. So you need to be ready for that. And, um, I believe the Lord will make a way if you are willing. So, um, seek him for what you should do, where you should be. 
And if you are in the Lord's will, then you are abiding in his love and you are abiding under the shadow of his wings. So you're in safety and you just need to follow what he tells you to do and what he's guiding you to do. And don't delay. Um, don't delay. So uh, I wanted to share this dream. Very interesting and very important. So especially for those in Australia, that is what is coming to our nation. Invasion. So do you know Jesus Christ? As your personal Lord and Savior? Do you know him as your Lord and God? Do you know that he died for your sins and that without faith in him, there is no atonement for your sins by his shed blood on the cross? So you will die in your sins and you'll go to hell. Jesus is the only Savior. So you must repent of your sins and believe in Jesus Christ and you'll be saved and you'll receive the Holy Spirit of God to live inside you and to guide you and lead you in your life. And the veil of darkness will be lifted over you, and you will understand the truth. That is the truth. The Bible is the word of God, and we are in the end, and these times are upon us. So please repent and seek the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you, my brothers and sisters. May God bless you and your families. Your brother in Christ, Christopher. <laughs>